spicy ghost pepper wings from Popeyes. Yummy, delicious with some red beans and rice and a biscuit. Mershaw will be trying these and this is what I'll be eating with my cilantro lime sauce. Yummers! What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it, okay? I am drinking some flavored water today. Uh-huh, yes, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm, mm. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Oh, and, uh, and y'all. What? To be booty, booty, booty. I, I was um. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then Murder Show has Popeyes lemonade. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, y'all. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to like transfer over to my drink with that same energy. <laughs> I, first of all, my energy for your drink was better than mine. No, but you had that little downtime, like anyway. So what did you drink? No, no, I didn't even say that. See now, why are you making stuff like, up? All right. Oh, good God. Uh, ask God the best foods we have. Thanks, A to the men. Amen. A to the man. Y'all let us know what y'all eating with us. I'm so excited. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Y'all, I'm using the rest of my jackfruit in these tacos. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Duh, this sucks. Mm. All right. Tell us about those good old wine things. Wait. Tell us about them wine. They pretty damn good. Really ain't much to say. Can you tell us what they taste like? Do they taste like sweet and spicy wings with the ghost pepper? Like, are they spicy? Yeah, it's the same ghost pepper wings, and then they got all of this sweet and sour sauce in there all over them. Okay, so which one is better? What? Tell us that. Which one is better? What, just ghost pepper by itself or with this sauce on it? Yeah, which one's better? Mm, I guess the sauce. You know? So you like the sweet and, the sweet and spicy, because they're called sweet and spicy wings. So you like that one better with the sauce? I think I do. Really? I mean, of course, there'll be a time when you want to just eat some dry wings. You don't want this wetness on it, but mm -hmm. it's cool. 
because it ain't just spicy. You know, you got the sweet going on, mm-hmm. the heat. It's more complex situation. I wonder if that's the sweet heat sauce that they have on there. Probably. Because I know they didn't get a whole new sauce. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Popeyes. <laughs> Y'all need to work on uh getting the chicken ghost pepper. Like ghost pepper chicken. Fried chicken. Okay? Can we work on that? Popeyes. Please and thanks. Yeah, I need me a ghost pepper chicken breast. Yeah, like, they should have been had that. Like, I don't understand. Folks want some Let's ghost pepper drumsticks, I'm sure. Let's take us all on. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. Good Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Popeye's killing the wing game right now. Oh yeah. You think so? What? Burst is cool. <laughs> I mean, these are comparable. To a wing spot, you know? Like wing stop? And wing stop don't even have nothing like this. They really don't. Yeah, I'd rather like if you want some wet wings, get these. Don't go to wing stop. <laughs> or wings and more or buffalo wings or whoever. Mm-hmm. Buffalo wild wings. Mm. Now, what we supposed to be talking about? <clears throat> that woman who had got hit with a brick. Y'all. Who I know y'all done heard about that story. Do you know what city she was in? I told you it was Houston. Oh, it was in Houston. Yeah. And what's so where at in Houston? I don't know where they were. Okay. Marshall trying to figure out where when she recorded none of these black men you know helped me they were just standing around you know watching they didn't say nothing um he wants to know where they were and i told him i said it doesn't even matter where they were like that doesn't matter like she didn't deserve for somebody to this is what happened so it's this young lady okay she's an influencer on tiktok and she does skits and things like that um, on her TikTok. And um, so she was out. It looked like she was out. She was dressed up. And then I seen other girls when she, like, panned the camera. And they had on dresses. So I'm thinking that they were out that night. And some guy uh, tried to talk to her. He wanted her number. Excuse me. And she declined. He got mad. And he supposedly, allegedly picked up a brick and held it up and was like, what you going to do? And she said, you gonna, so you going you gonna to hit me? Uh, you going to hit me with that? Hit me. Hit, uh, hit me. You know, she was like daring him, I guess, to hit her. Allegedly, that's what happened. And he hit her in the side of her head with the freaking brick. Face blew up on the side. I mean, I really swollen. <clears throat> 
and um, she made another video from the hospital because she had to go to the hospital. And so, um, okay, so it went viral. Okay, she put those videos out. What, you need a napkin? No, nah, I got some. Um, it went viral, and, uh, you know, people were stitching her video, you know, saying, is it spicy? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's spicy. Yeah, it got me. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so... Um, people were stitching the video saying, um, you know, basically, you know, taking up for her, you know, how can somebody do this? You know, we need to find the perpetrator, you know. And so then somebody went on her TikTok, I guess, and found this video of her, um, like it was, it was a skit that she was doing because she clicked, she made it clear in the caption that it was a skit. So it was a, her, like she was kind of like talking mess or something to this white guy, and then she slapped him, right? But she didn't really slap him; it was fake. And she walked off, and then she started twerking. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the video. And so, uh, somebody got a whole that video, put it up. As if it was a real video, like she was really slapping somebody and basically saying that she deserved what she got. Everybody in the comments saying, basically saying, you know, oh, I knew that wasn't it to the, to the story. Trying to say that it was the same night when it wasn't. It was a totally different night. It was a skit. And they were just saying, basically, she deserved what she got. And I knew that there was more to the story and all of this stuff here, right? And so, um, then, after that video came out, all these black men started making these videos saying, I knew it. Uh, uh, you know, look at what she did. <coughs> they were, um, you know, talking about the video. Um, like it was a real video, even though it was a skit. <sighs> So, yeah, so, you know, women everywhere are pissed off because all these men are making these stitch videos talking about they sorry that they even took up for her and all of this stuff here. Like, she deserved what she... It doesn't matter if that skit was even real. It, like, it doesn't even matter if it was real. Did she, she deserve to get hit in the head with a brick because she wouldn't give her number out? Y'all, men are going... Bonkers with this rejection thing, like my gosh, and maybe you know, I'm thinking that he was probably um really upset because other guys were standing around and Lord knows how she told him no. You know what I'm saying? Like, but she can say say it any kind of way she wanna say it. Like, she don't have to like coddle to his feelings and worry about his feelings. She ain't wanna give her number to him, period. You know, um, but yeah, so he hit her in the head with a brick. Like, anyway, I just thought that was ridiculous. And I feel like men are going crazy with not knowing how to handle rejection. First it is all, ridiculous. Don't put that on men. That's some crackhead activity type of drug addict activity. That's not normal for a man to pick up a brick and bust a woman in the head because she declined his advances. Is it normal for a man to put his hands on a woman after she declined his advances? Remember the lady, y'all, who said that she... No, it's not. I, in New York, she said she didn't want this that guy to buy her that bottle of wine. Remember she was in that uh, corner store? And they end up... She trying to walk home. Him and his boys end up jumping her and <clears throat> messed her face up disfigured her face because she didn't want them to buy her a bottle of wine talking about she was stuck up in Sedidia or whatever. You know. Listen, that's my point crazy. exactly. Just like this woman, when she panned and all these men, I didn't see not one man. I seen a bunch of look like crackhead, crack selling, drug addict, bunch of standing around the they corner store type of jokers. They weren't. I'm they like, where in the hell dudes. is she at? No, there was some standing around the corner. No, because some of them made videos. The point I'm trying to make, if you, she, like, she ain't had no business. The way she was dressed, 
She looked what way overdressed to, to even be it? around there. Why are you at the corner store? I wouldn't stop at no corner store that got she 50 jokers. She wasn't at a corner store. Standing around. We don't even around. know where she was. Like It was a bunch of buildings around. He's assuming. Bro, so they look like some jokers that hang, hang at the store and they be serving. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that, that, That's not a, a man. That's them, them boys out there. Doing, you know what I'm saying? On drugs and shit. You know, I that's not know. man activity, bro. Because that's, bro. Some of them made videos saying, yes, I was one of the ones that was standing right there. They didn't look like drug addicts to me at all. When she panned, it looked like a bunch of hanging at the store, got drove home. That's them, what it looked like. Ready, they ready to run from the cops and any moment. A bunch of crazy That's what it looked like, y'all, but that's not what addicts. it was. Because they made videos talking about what happened. And they said that they didn't. So this what, what they so said. What did they they hold on, didn't know hold on, her. Before you so say they anything. wasn't gonna. They didn't know her, so they wasn't gonna take up for her. Like what? They what did, didn't know her, what so did they, they not gonna happened? take up. Because when I heard the story, I'm like, that's okay. exactly what happened. What she said. Just what like happened? that, he wanted her number. She said no, and he decided to pick up a brick and bust her with it. Yes. Right. Can't tell it, me it might be some drugs. more stuff that was said, but I haven't heard it yet. It doesn't even matter though. He shouldn't have picked up a yeah. brick and hit her. But I'm saying her. we gotta be wise enough to stay. What no area? No what areas to stay the hell clear of? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Just like you shouldn't go camping in the woods where they got bears. <laughs> you don't go walking past no bunch of jokers hanging around. They're number trouble. I they don't know how to him. act. They don't know how to act. Ain't nobody ever taught them how to act. I was telling him she she might have been trying to walk to her car. Hello, you know how sometimes when you I guess stay up clear from them areas. Like, if jokers are hanging around in that area, don't go to nothing over there. It looked like it was like downtown or something, and you have to find a parking space because y'all know parking spaces are not plentiful downtown. Even though I don't know where she was, I don't know. They don't look like but no it downtown just looked like to me. She <laughs> don't you been know those Ward. kind of guys hang downtown? Bruh. And it's right there by Fourth Ward and Third Ward and like. I mean, people go anywhere, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It could have been anywhere. Anyway, so, yeah, I was telling him that she might have been trying to walk to her car. That's when dudes be usually trying to get your number is when you leave in, when you leave in the club, you know. And I'm just assuming that that's what happened. But, um, yeah, but she didn't deserve that. At all. I don't care what the situation is. She did not deserve that. And then the black man who was standing around. Hold on. She always picks the perfect time. The perfect time. So like I was saying, um, the black men that were standing around, you know, not doing anything. Cause some, you know, even if you are a man that sees something that's scared, okay, and you don't want to get involved, you can at least, if you see something like that, you can at least, uh, before he even cracked her, that somebody could have said, man, look, you're going too far. Just stop, man. Stop right there. Don't hit her with the brick. You know, if you don't want to, like, get involved physically, you could say something. So, they were saying that some of them said, I know one of them said, that they didn't get involved because they didn't know who she was. You know, like, do you have to know who she is? Like, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. That's why black women are always saying black men um, are, do not protect them. Because they'll stand by while you're freaking getting stabbed with a knife. Again, like there wasn't no man out there. You can't just assume because the Joker got, you know what I'm saying, is a, a, a male that he's a man. Well, obviously they weren't, okay? That's just obvious. That's obvious. But it, it happens too much. It happens too much. Tell me this. If you was standing out there, what would you have done? 
Who knows what mentality I would have had if I was to stand around the corner store type of joker. I ain't that type of joker. No, if you were coming from the club and you saw something happen like that. Or something well, getting ready to happen. Well, you know, she holding up the brick to her. Who knows? Like, shit happen fast sometimes. Unfortunately, people just be like bystanders and you might look and see something. Like, if you have a chance to react, like to see it, process it and react, I'm sure I would have reacted. But I can also, I'm going to keep it real. I can also see myself passing by and just casually looking over and he done got a brick. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then he's smacking with the brick. Nah. If he trying to, like, kill her with the brick, definitely you're going to go and save her. But if he's smacking with the brick and now he's going on about his business, I'm not finna go try to be no vigilante and go give him some justice because of what he did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, like they said, I don't know who she is. You know how many people out here be uh, end up getting killed trying to get in, in other people? Being, I ain't trying to be no good Samaritan to get killed. I mean, I understand that. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> Probably nobody could have stopped her. Something. Like you just assuming nobody, nobody seen exactly what happened. So no, we really they can't. did. They were standing right there. She said they were standing right there. I'm talking about all the people who were speaking about it, like us. We didn't mm -hmm. see what happened. They but seen what happened. Well. And I'm just assuming. I'm sure it happened too fast for anybody to be able to um to react, even it if didn't. they said something. Hey man, put that brick down. I mean, they gonna stop him. If you a crazy joker, that's crazy. Mm -mm. Crazy enough to pick up a brick to bust a wimpy boy. You are a you are a lunatic already on the loose. He probably and jokers know anybody that's that the crazy the neighborhood know how crazy he is. They not gonna do nothing to him because they don't want him to get crazy on them. So they let him do whatever. So they were scared. Exactly. I would I would assume. I can only assume. Mm. You know, if he busts her with a brick, imagine what he'd do to you. He coming at you with a knife or a gun. You know, he come and take you out. I honestly think, and I was not there, but I honestly think they were going back and forth. Oh, it was a situation. I, I, it didn't just happen. I didn't want to say that, but I said, assume that too. Exactly. That's why she said that we're just standing around watching. They had to have had an argument, and then he, you know what I'm saying? That's. I feel like that's what happened. Yeah. You know, without knowing all the details. But... Because just the way that the video starts, I guess that's why a lot of men was like, because I got the thing, I'm like, hmm, where's the rest of the story? This is not just, you know, like, I know jokers don't like getting shot down, but to just say that you declined him the, your number and then he bust you with a brick? Where the rest of the story at? You know what I'm saying? Maybe she told him that, uh, exactly. you know, you're not my type. You're too short. Uh, you, 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 not, you know, or something even worse. You're not cute. You're not you know? my type. <laughs> In an ugly uh, way, though. I just imagine. We can only assume, you know? Like, who knows? But it doesn't matter. Even if she did say you're not my type or, like, even that, if she yeah, it's did. It's never justified to bust a woman in the head with a brick unless she is about to cause physical harm to somebody else. And even stand still. A man don't need to pick up a brick to bust a woman with it. That's why I say whoever that was was off his rocker. Like, he could have just bought his hand and punched her. But that wasn't enough. He wanted to bust her with a brick? Why would he? I'm just saying, like, that's old. Like, come on. She's a woman. You're a man. That joke is not right. I mean, balling your fist up. That joke is not that, right. Not right either. I'm saying, yeah, but to do it with a brick, that's even better. I could see somebody bigger is picking on you or y'all about to get in the fight. Yeah, you, you be, he's the bigger man. Yeah, bust him in the head with a brick. But oh, for a man to bust a woman, that's why I say stay away from jokers who hang outside. I said it before. Jokers hanging outside, just speak, just the whole area, forget it. Just the whole, just, you know what I'm saying? Drive past the hood and go outside the hood where jokers ain't hanging around. I'm no, to... Nobody in wife beaters, nobody in slides. You know what I'm talking about? It is what it is. You won't have that type of shit happen to you. You know, hooting and hollering at you when you're passing by and trying to go somewhere. We're like, come on. You Sometimes you can't freaking avoid it. Like, come on. Like, what if, what if the guy goes That shit don't happen at regular is, places. I just really feel like what? they was, they might, they could have been at a nice club, but they no, had to walk to their car. Not, they, them jokers were some outside jokers. They, <laughs> you, you Have you ever been to a club Bruh. where when you get out of the club, you know what I'm saying, you might have to walk 
I mean, these there's guys the, might no, no, be no, no, there's listen, in the wall club in the hood. These guys like, might be hanging around trying to holler at girls that are coming out of the club while they're trying to get to their car. They just ain't look at like that to me. Look like yes, they were serving. Did. She, it, she don't look like the kind of girl that be hanging around like that. That's why I was and like, where is she? Why is she even there? Because she was coming from a club. Whatever. I, I can't wait till she bring her part of the story out. Cause that had to been it. Hmm. That had to been it. Well, I hope you know, they it find is. whoever it is because he's in Houston. You know, there are some hoods. That's a hood that, you know, that, that butts up with downtown. So I guess maybe Joker decided, hey, we're going to cross these two streets and we're going to hang out on this block and holler at them pretty girls as they come out the club. Who exactly. knows? Exactly. That's what I'm thinking <laughs> it happened because it happened a lot. It, that happens a lot. Yeah. Uh, you can be you know, downtown coming out the club. Make, a, make one or two wrong turns and be in the, in the treacherous trenches. And you have to park in these weird places sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't want to pay $20 or $30 or even. It's probably higher than that now uh, for a parking space. You know what I'm saying? You got to get to your car to get home. And it might be dudes hanging around. Say, she, little mama. If she was trying to you park know, somewhere for free, you know she had to go and park over men are, Exactly. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how men are, and and men like that, they get freaking pissed off when you say, "Nah, I'm good," nah, or you may even laugh at them because you're like, "Like, how you talking to me?" You know, and <laughs> that's y'all. <laughs> I, I learned my lesson when I tell you I learned my lesson with like acting like. I was above somebody that was trying to holler at me. Y'all, I got my car vandalized. I, I done told that story so many times. All my windows busted out. <laughs> we walked back to the car. <laughs> Nigga, we about to go home. Y'all, car just, and I literally, I think I drove just like that. Because I didn't have no money to get it towed. I didn't have no money to get all my windows fixed. None of that, y'all. I literally drove around like that for the longest time. I think I put some like some trash bags on my window. Uh, was the windshield busted out or it was just Busted crack? completely out. Oh, it was just, it was So you didn't have no front windshield? I didn't have no front windshield. Wind, wind good, busting you in the face when you drive. Goodbye. <laughs> like, goodbye. No windows. Excuse me. And they stole my checks. That was back when, you know, stealing folks' checks was in style. In style, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody was freaking doing it. But, um. Yeah, old school scamming. Yeah, yeah, those were the scams back in the day, stealing folks' checks. Why did I have checks in my car? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why did I have checks in my car? Why did I have checks in my car? Did I leave my purse in the... Yes, I did. Because when you order checks, they send no, no, you a no, no, bunch no. of boxes of them. I left my purse in the car. That was back when... Remember when we used to not want to carry... Because when I would go to the club, I would dance. Okay? All night. I wouldn't like the kind of girl that would stand up against the wall. Okay? So I didn't want to have a purse. So what I would do... I would, uh, I would take my ID out and stuff that I need to get into the club. And put everything else in the trunk. So that's, and they probably saw me do that. Mm -hmm. They was watching us, y'all. After we rejected them, they're like, oh, okay, we got something for them. Ah! Anyway. So, yeah. Why was I saying that? <laughs> mm. Congratulations to Krishan. She had her baby. And she live streamed it, y'all. Krishan live streamed. And I was crying, y'all. Like, it was so emotional. Because whoever, whoever was. you watching it live? Yeah. No, not live like that. <laughs> no, it was a clip. Because mm. whoever was um, filming it, she was crying and just praising the Lord and just saying, thank you, Jesus. Like, it was so emotional. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, she has a, a little boy, and, um, you know. She recorded herself, you know, interacting with her baby. The and, baby blue face. Yeah. And Blueface was not there. I heard that Krishan didn't want him there because she wanted the room, you know, filled with love. And, you know, she didn't want no drama. 
there. And it was. It was filled with love. Everybody that loved her was there and just was loving on her and the baby. And, um, yeah, he was uh, at somewhere. Was he at the beach or something? He was somewhere with his other baby mama. And, uh, you know, while Krishan was having the baby. And, yeah, I swear. Like, I never say that, you know, that I would not let, you know, the father of my child see their child. But in that case. <sighs> Considering all they've been through and, yeah, for the childbirth. Just, yeah, you, yeah, you don't get a chance to ruin this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I've let him see my baby, period. Of course, you you hurt the baby when you don't let the baby the father. I mean, see the I baby. know, I know, but it I don't know. It just seems like Blueface don't even give it. You know what I'm saying? He don't. It seems like he don't care. In my opinion, because he's not gonna show the world how he feel. He gonna hold it in. He's not gonna show you. You know, some jokers men like to keep their shit in, especially like if you're trying to hurt them, they gonna pretend that shit don't even bother you, bother them. He gonna be like, that. oh my god, that he didn't so even care. Annoying. No, he cared. He just real good at hiding this shit. No, if you care, you would have, like, I, like even if she don't want you in a room, I would have been up at the hospital waiting in the lobby to see my son. That's his son, and he knows that's his son. It's, there's no Who more says, questions. He probably didn't even know that she was having it there he did. and when. How you know? He did. He knew. How you know? He, because he knew. He knew. If We're not going to sit goes here into and labor say unannounced. that he didn't know. A woman goes into labor unannounced. Like, you might know the time frame, window, but you don't know exactly when she's going to go into labor. And if nobody called him, he wouldn't have known. Come on now. You think nobody called him? He was on live stream. He, like, he was on live. If they're enemies, why would somebody reach out to tell him if she and him ain't even on good terms? And she don't want him there. Why would anybody tell him? That would be that would be all. Don't, of course, don't tell him. Like if she wanted him to know, she would have told him. Give that man some credit. Don't try to toss him under the bus. Oh please, that man is full of it, Shay. Okay, he is full of it, Shay. He's really good at at acting like he don't care. I honestly, I don't feel like he cares at all. I don't, I don't feel like he cares to even see the baby. Honestly, anybody that did would have been at the hospital. He didn't have to be in the room. He could have been there for his son. Forget all he, the drama with the But you with can't the mama. be there for your son if there's drama with the mama. Like, you know, like if she didn't want him to see him, like... Fathers have rights. He gave her her space. She wanted to have that baby by herself without him. What I like, And that's cool. And for men, I'm going to keep it 100. For men... What? The first nine months or whatever, you know, them first early months, that baby supposed to be with their mama. Did the, you say nine months? The what? first early, like the earliest months, that ain't like time like daddy is like break. It's time for the baby to be with the mama. Like daddy don't even know how to hold a newborn baby. He, you know what I'm saying? Daddies it's, do know how to hold newborn babies. Listen, you got me. I don't if know you, what if men you're, you're talking with the, about. If you're with the woman and you're going through all of this shit with her, then yeah, you're going to be right there and all that, blah, blah, blah. But if you and the woman ain't together, a man can, like, them, when the baby's first born, even if you're with the woman, for the most part, like, the baby's supposed to be with the woman. The woman is the one supposed to nurture the baby and they're breastfeeding and all that in the beginning. That's the baby's supposed to be with the mom in the beginning. And then, like, at a certain point in life, the, the boy should be with his daddy most of the time so he can learn how to be a man. But he got to be nurtured in the beginning. So you don't think that the father should develop a bond with the I said who's the most when, important. When, the most important. Like, it's cool. I feel like both parents are the most important because both parents are the ones who made the baby. I'm just trying to get you to understand so, how a man can love his child but understand that it's not his time particularly to be with the child because the child just came into this world. It's the child needs to be with the mother. Now, nah, okay, mama go to mama gotta go take a bath, mama's taking a nap or whatever. Yeah, it's cool for daddy to be there, but for the most part, that baby and that mama is bonding. And you know what I'm saying? So you don't think that 
while the baby and the mother is bonded because the the baby has been carried of by course, the mother. Of course, the baby can bond with a daddy if the daddy months. is dead. But I'm just saying, like, a daddies be chilling until like once the baby can like starts like walking and and, and, and talking and for sure, then it's like okay, I, I ain't finna be, I ain't you know. It ain't no way. No, I I disagree. I disagree. I'm, I'm making you understand how the psyche of a man of who a man. have a baby with a woman that he not with. Mm. Because the woman needs help from the very first day from the from that man, the daddy. Okay, whether they're getting along or not. You know? As long as they're not hollering and screaming in, in front of the baby, the woman needs help with that baby. She shouldn't have to be the one always what if she's not breastfeeding? Everybody don't breastfeed either. Like Maybe she she needs a break. She just had course, a baby. Listen, a hundred percent, I agree that parent the child needs both parents in their life. That's the best thing. I'm just trying to get you to understand, or like, would you a stray male who not with the woman and she have his baby? How they can you would, a woman will think that they don't care because when she first have the baby, he's nowhere around. But I'm just trying to get you to understand that to a man that's not with the woman, it ain't his time to be around that baby when it's first spit out. It ain't time. That baby still is, you can't even, it's a helpless little baby. Like, you know, a lot of men might come to the hospital and see their baby, hold their little baby one time, and then they like waiting for the baby to grow up a little bit so they can really have something to do with the baby. You know, it's mm. like the kid in the village back in the old days in the villages, there was the woman's hut and the men's hut. All the women slept together in the house and all the men slept together in the house. Yeah. The, the child would be with the mama until like, you know, let's say the little boy would be with the mama until age four or five or whatever. Then he would go stay with the daddy in the daddy hut, learn how to be a man. You see, it's like the same thing, kind of. You know, it, that's where it comes from. Well, that's a shame that the baby got to, you know, grow up into that age, whatever age that is, and not even have anything to do with his daddy, and not even have no type of bond, but go and live with his daddy. Nobody said, no, I ain't saying that you don't have nothing to do with him, but just who's, who's the baby up under? The baby should be up under the mama. For a certain time. And then at a certain point in life, that boy don't need to be up under his mama. He need to be up under his daddy. It's just it's times for stuff. You know, like the the women are, are the nurturers of the family. The, you know, the lovers, the nurturers for the children. Like, it's, it's cool for a daddy to nurture his child too, but that's the woman's job when the child's a baby. That's all. So it... A man can still love his child, but like just realizing that I'm waiting on my time. Right now it's the child time with the mother. It's cool. I'm waiting for my baby to be able to open their eyes, hold their head up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, recognize daddy when he comes into the room. A man doesn't see his place with that baby if he wasn't with that woman all the way until she had that that until she had the baby. He don't really see his place right then and there. You know, if he do hold the baby, he like man, come and get her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she throw up. Oh, oh, you need to feed her. All this, like a man be like, here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like those kind of men. <laughs> At all. <laughs> like, here's the baby. Come get the baby. She need to be changed or he needs to be changed. No, you can change the baby. <clears throat> Let me take a shower. Can I take a nap? I'm tired. You know, that's what the daddy is there for. You know, those times. You know, what is the woman supposed to do when she's tired and she's in pain because she didn't have the baby, but she has to get up and walk in. And, like I you know, said. Nothing wrong with the daddy, you know, being there for office support. But if a man and a woman is not together, he can't even do that anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, yeah. Let's rate them good old wings. <clears throat> Shit, that Popeye. Go ahead and get him a 10. I got to recommend. Only 10? I really? got to recommend. Wow, scares. I wish I could have tasted them, y'all, but I can just imagine what they taste like. Thank God I got a chance to taste the ghost pepper wings just with some sweet heat sauce on it because I know that's what that is. It's probably absolutely delicious. It is. I bet you, y'all. So anyway, y'all already know my tacos was a 10. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ooh, ooh. Come on, go ahead. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ah, and we'll see you guys.
you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Hey, give me some suggestions on what to cook tomorrow that's keto-friendly. Okay? Peace.